Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Less Is More from Benjamin Earl and Vanishing Incorporated. All right, so Less Is More, uh, magic book, card magic book, new book. Uh, Vanishing Incorporated is a publisher. Uh, Benjamin Earl's the author. Andy Gladwin, who works on it Vanishing, uh, helped with the book, helped putting it together. This is a gorgeous 142 page hardback book and it is bursting with high quality black and white photographs. It's, you know, it's, it's two things. It's not only a book on theory, and the construction of card magic, but it's also workable. Like the things in this are workable. You're getting world-class effects. If you don't know who Benjamin Earl is, Benjamin Earl, uh, I got introduced to him through his three DVD set, Past Midnight. Um, he's a British magician. He's a sleight of hand specialist. He's an illusionist. He was actually on the very first episode of Penn and Teller Fool Us, and he fooled Penn and Teller. All right, so what's the book about? Um, the book is about stripping away all the extra that often gets put into tricks. Like we learn tricks and we learn kind of, I don't wanna say the baggage, but we learn all the extra things that those uh, teachers teach us and then they become a part of what we do. And Benjamin trying to tries to free you from that, right? That's the whole idea behind the premise of the title, less is more. He tries to free you from the idea that tricks have to be complicated to be magical. So he's gonna start with Henry Christ's uh, classic trick, Fabulous Four Ace. He's gonna take that routine and then he's gonna improve it one piece at a time. He's gonna show you the process that he takes, stripping away the excess and finding that little gold hidden nugget, right? Strip away all the anticlimactic movements and kind of just progressively make the trick more to stronger, make it more distinctive and, and show you what that process looks like for him. So then that experiment leads to the next experiment and to the next, like he's gonna take you down this path, okay? And he's gonna help you examine how to strip away all the unnecessary actions that we typically dump into tricks for no reason. All right, so what is he gonna teach you? What is he gonna teach you? Uh, he's gonna teach you 12 complete ace cutting effects and gambling demonstrations. One of the ones that he teaches you is actually completely slight free, okay? Completely slight free, uh, all the while showing you how tricks are constructed and then how you can make them better by stripping away all the excess. He's gonna show you how to maintain a stack while the spectator shuffles the deck. He's gonna show you how to maintain the stack while you shuffle the deck. He's gonna show you how to produce the aces. You're gonna learn the string cut and the real optical false shuffle. All right, so what did I think? What do I think about the book? Um, it's beautiful. The book itself is beautiful. You're gonna enjoy reading it, enjoy flipping through it. You're gonna be proud to have this book on your bookshelf. I think layout wise, it's beautiful. It's packed with information. So 142 pages, yes. So not it's not a thick tome, it's not the Bible, but there's no wasted words in it. Again, less is more, right? So give them, give them as much as you can. Don't use all the flowery, you know, extra words. Like he gives you everything you need. It's packed with information. Some of the reviews that I've read from people, people are saying it's the best book they've bought in years, best book they've bought this year hands down. Uh, some people are saying it's their favorite book on card magic and that's, that's saying a lot. And I think it's because it is this combination of being a book on theory and effects. You know, so often you get books that are one or the other. You know, it's a book on magic theory and you're like, well, I wish I could have learned some tricks. And then you, or you get a book that's just tricks and you're like, ah, I really feel like I could have used some theory. So this book puts both of those together and it walks you through Benjamin's brilliant thinking. I mean, what are not, what an awesome teacher to have to sit next to you as you go through this process. So exceptional magic. I wouldn't expect anything less from him. I wouldn't expect anything less from his fans or critics either. So I think this is definitely uh, a, a book to check out, especially if you're into these style of effects, these style of routines. Uh, the book is $50, $50. Like I said, hardback book, 142 pages. 
But come on, Benjamin Earl and Vanishing Incorporated, you can't go wrong. All right, so that is my review of Less Is More from Benjamin Earl, Vanishing Incorporated. Like I said, 50 bucks, hardback book. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this book so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from one of your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealers. Thanks, bye.